Greetings everyone and a warm welcome. In this video presentation, I will be covering multiple choice questions, MCQs focused on general intelligence and reasoning, specifically basic arithmetic number system, percentage and average. You are requested to practice these questions in your notebook for further conceptual clarity. For MCQs on other topics, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let us try to solve some important MCQs one by one from the topic. Question 1. What is the smallest prime number? A. 0 B. 1 C. 2 D. 3 Explanation A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 that has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. Among the given options, 2 is the smallest prime number. So. The correct answer to question 1 is option C, 2. Question 2. If x is equal to 3 divided by 5, what percentage does x represent? A. 20% B. 30% C. 40% D. 50% Explanation. To convert a fraction to a percentage, you multiply the fraction by 100. So, 3 divided by 5 multiplied by 100 is equal to 60%. So, the correct answer to question 2 is option B, 60%. Question 3. What is 25% of 80? A, 15. B, 20. C, 25. D, 30. Explanation. To find 25% of a number. You multiply the number by 0 0.25. So, 80 multiplied by 0 0.25 is equal to 20. So, the correct answer to question 3 is option B, 20. Question 4. If 2 by 5 of a number is 24, what is the number? A, 48. B, 50. C, 60. D, 80. Explanation, let the number be x. Then, to divide it by 5 multiplied by x is equal to 24. Solving for x, x is equal to 24 into 5 whole divided by 2 is equal to 60. So, the correct answer to question 4 is option C, 60. Question 5, what percentage is equivalent to 4 by 5? A, 75%. B. 80% C. 85% D. 90% Explanation To convert a fraction to a percentage, you multiply the fraction by 100. So, 4 by 5 into 100 is equal to 80%. So, the correct answer to question 5 is option B. 80% Question 6. What is the average of 15, 20 and 25? A. 20 B. 22 C. 23 D. 24 Explanation The average of a set of numbers is found by summing all the numbers and dividing by the total count. So, 15 plus 20 plus 25 divided by 3 is equal to 20. So, the correct answer to question 6 is option B. 20 Question 7. If x plus x by 2 plus x by 4 is equal to 49, what is the value of x? A. 28 B. 32 C. 36 D. 40 Explanation. To find the x, you can first simplify the equation x plus x by 2 plus x by 4 is equal to 49. Adding the fractions, you get 7x by 4 is equal to 49. Solving for x, x is equal to 49 multiplied by 4 by 7 is equal to 36. So, the correct answer to question 7 is option C, 36. Question 8. What is the percentage increase from 20 to 25? A, 10%. B, 20%. C, 25%. D. 30%. Explanation. To calculate the percentage increase, you subtract the original value from the final value, divide by the original value, and then multiply by 100. So, 
25 minus 20 divided by 20 into 100 is equal to 25%. So, the correct answer to question 8 is option C, 25%. Question 9. If the sum of two numbers is 60 and one number is 40, what is the other number? A. 20 B. 30 C. 40 D. 50 Explanation. Let the other number be x. Since the sum of the two numbers is 60, x plus 40 is equal to 60. Solving for x, x is equal to 20. So, the correct answer to question 9 is option A. 20. Question 10. What is 40% of 120? A. 24. B. 36. C. 48. D. 60. Explanation. To find 40% of a number, you multiply the number by 0 0.40. So, 120 multiplied by 0 0.40 is equal to 48. So, the correct answer to question 10 is option C, 48. Question 11. The average of three numbers is 15. If one of the numbers is 20, what is the average of the other two numbers? A, 10. B, 12.5. C, 14.5. D, 16. Explanation, let the sum of the other two numbers be x. Since the average of the three numbers is 15, the sum of all three numbers is 15 multiplied by 3 is equal to 45. Since one number is 20, the sum of the other two numbers is 45 minus 20 is equal to 25. Therefore, the average of the other two numbers is 25 divided by 2 is equal to 12.5. So. The correct answer to question 11 is option A, 12.5. Question 12. What percentage is equivalent to 3 by 4? A, 50%. B, 60%. C, 75%. D, 80%. Explanation. To convert a fraction to a percentage, you multiply the fraction by 100. So, 3 by 4 multiplied by 100 is equal to 75%. So, the correct answer to question 12 is option C, 75%. Question 13. If 3 by 8 of a number is 27, what is the number? A, 56. B, 64. C, 72. D, 81. Explanation. Let the number be x. Then, 3 by 8 multiplied by x is equal to 27. Solving for x, x is equal to 27 multiplied by 8 divided by 3 is equal to 64. So, the correct answer to question 13 is option B, 64. Question 14. What is 35% of 200? A, 50. B, 70. C, 75. D, 80. Explanation. To find 35% of a number, you multiply the number by 0 0.35. So, 200 multiplied by 0 0.35 is equal to 70. So, the correct answer to question 14 is option B, 70. Question 15. If 60% of a number is 120, what is the number? A. 180. B. 200. C. 240. D. 300. Explanation. Let the number be x. Then, 60% of x is 0 0.60 multiplied by x is equal to 120. Solving for x, x is equal to 120 divided by 0 0.60 is equal to 240. So, the correct answer to question 15 is option C. 240. Question 16. What is 20% of 150? A. 20 B. 30 C. 40 D. 50 Explanation. To find 20% of a number, you multiply the number by 0 0.20. So, 150 multiplied by 0 0.20 is equal to 30. So, 
The correct answer to question 16 is option B. 30. Thank you everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shoki Bilal.